son Malik said, who also is a Mills graduate, Malik, Malik. and uh, Malik heard me speak when he was about five years old with the teachers, and after I was done, he said it was pretty good, but that I went on a little long, and then he asked if teachers get paid by, if professors get paid by the word. <laughs> it's peace work, and that's what we can set up. We vowed to be quiet if we, if we uh, violate that, or, or if we get too quiet, then our brother John is in the back of the room speaking. <laughs> as he's part of this also. Um, I, we've decided to do this in, as a conversation, as a dialogue. Um, and, and it's a dialogue with six brief utterances. I hope they're brief, going back and forth. Um, and then we're going to open it up to you. So we want you to be engaged, attentive, um, planning to jump into the next utterance. I want to shout out to Mills for a couple of reasons. One is that we are really honored to be in this series with Glory Letts and Billings and Claude Steele and, and uh, Sonia Nieto. It's, uh, these are people who've influenced us a great deal. But also very, very thrilled that Mills College has taken on something as complicated as a conversation about race that they intend to be an ongoing conversation for all of you. Um, uh, it's a, the, the title of the series is straightforward to the point of bluntness. Uh, preparing educators and youth in a racist world. I would have been in the back of the meeting saying, couldn't we tone that down? But uh, why should um, it's the way you are? And uh, let's just have it straight up and let's have that conversation. Um, and really the whole notion of the taboo begins right there because this is a conversation that's difficult to have. It's difficult to have uh, across race, but it's difficult to even mention. It's a taboo. It's one of those things we don't like to talk about. I was um, re-looking at James Baldwin's marvelous essay, The Fire Next Time, in which he, it, it begins with a letter to his nephew, where he indicts the United States. And then he says, after a, a kind of a very severe indictment of the United States, he says, um, 
that there is a remedy, and the remedy is painful and complex, but available. White Americans must look unblinkingly at history, face our constructed and, and cushioned reality, confront the tears of the wound with the consequences of our wickedness. We must harness ourselves then to a great collective effort toward justice. Baldwin finds hope in an image of, quote, the relatively conscious whites and the relatively conscious blacks who must, like lovers, insist on or create the consciousness of the others in order to end the racial nightmare and achieve our country. And what he says is the real crime is not everything he'd indicted the country for in the history. The crime is the claim of innocence, the claim that he didn't know, that he didn't understand. And it's that's the taboo. The taboo is facing that reality. So again, I, we salute Mills for opening this up and for reminding us that we live in the United States of amnesia, and if we're, that's the US of A, and that if we're going to make any progress, we have to, we have to face forward. Um, Rick and I intend to have a dialogue, and then as I say, open it up to you, but the spirit of dialogue is always uh, to speak with the possibility of being heard, and at the same time, to listen with the possibility of being changed. And that means it's the most subversive of the pedagogical gestures, the, the gesture of dialogue, because there's gaps, there's misunderstandings, there's bound to be um, hurt feelings, there's bound to be um, uh, things that aren't said and, and, and uncomfortable silences, but that all goes with the dialogical territory. Anna said that I went to Bagley and Rick went to Mills, and, 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 and then I went over to Teachers College, as Anna said. And I want to just say that when I was at Bank Street, I was a graduate student at Bank Street, and when I came to the end of the program, I didn't want to leave, and I think a lot of Mills people feel that way. Like, why would I leave? I want to stay here in the warm embrace of this joint. And uh, I, I was a group with another group of students who began to explore the possibility of Bank Street creating a doctoral program. And we couldn't succeed, we didn't succeed, and my professors at Bank Street urged me to go over to Teachers College. At Teachers College, they have a giant, you don't know this, but Teachers College is just down the street from Bank Street. They have a big um, uh, chapel, and it's a chapel where John Dewey used to lecture. So there's a statue of John Dewey there. And slowly I realized, and we began to develop a joke among the students, that at, ba at Teachers College they have a chapel, but Bank Street is a chapel. And that, we said that with both the most loving and also a little bit of edge of criticism, you know, if we're 